These are your banded uh, hip thrusts. So go ahead and get your band. Um, obviously, you're going to have to play around until you find the level of resistance that's right for you. Put it on. You're going to put it just above your knees. And now, depending on what you're using for resistance, I'm using a barbell. You want to get your resistance symmetrically loaded onto your body so it's even from side to side. Use your elbows here to get yourself up onto your bench or whatever it is that you're using. And you want the bench just at the bottom of your scapula. So I'm gonna set myself up. The bench is just at the bottom of my scapula. From there, I wanna walk my heels and my feet in until my shins go vertical. And then from there, I'm gonna think of looking forward the whole time. So rather than having my upper body go back and forward, back and forward, I'm gonna keep from my sternum up through my head just facing forward. So I'm just gonna hinge at those hips. And when I drive the weight up especially, I'm thinking of keeping my knees going apart from one another. So my knees are constantly pressing into the band. My knees are always pressing away from each other as I'm driving up. And we go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Be careful getting out of it, obviously. Set the weight aside. And if you have any questions on those, hit me up. Again, this is a big muscle group, so you can go pretty heavy with both forms of resistance. You can have a lot of resistance on the band. You can have a lot of weight. This was about 50 pounds, and it was definitely not enough. So feel free to go heavy and max out at the end of your last set. And if you have any questions, let me know. Enjoy.